Hello and welcome to another edition of the Barbados Ninja Throwdown 2018, the second round of the 18 and over category. Last week, we saw 2017 champion Lee Knight become the first and only competitor in the adult category to clear this Bajan Ninja course. We're about to find out if any of today's competitors will give him a run for his money. First up is Grace Sims, hailing from the US of A. Grace is no stranger to the ninja life, having competed in a number of competitions stateside. But this is her first time in Barbados. Ninja Warrior expert Perry Osterley and Barbados Ninja Throwdown creator and managing director Delano Hines are already following the action on the course. She's halfway to course and her time is halfway, so I've been told. There is a possibility she can clear the course. She's doing a reverse grip. grip. The Japanese use this a lot. It makes, it prevents and the bar from spinning. She's and going very quickly though, Perry. I like her technique. It's like doing the salmon ladder, keeping your arms 90 degrees for a jump, and now using the hips and the legs to slide down. She needs to make at least one more jump to get to the end platform, but. And she, no. She's good. She Almost dipped in the water, but great save right there. Nice. Very good. I mean, that was wow. That was, <laughs> I was a little. That was I did just not now. I was like, expect that. Yeah. But great That's save. Very good save. She's getting ready for the Hackleton's Cliff net climb. Onto it now. Getting over right. it. This is some female power right there. I think this could be very inspirational very clear, yeah, for, for all sure. the females out there in Barbados and the Caribbean. And she clears the Hockerton's cliff net climb. Yeah. Onto the River Big Log Roll. She's catching her breath. This is an obstacle. The people in the US have not been training much, so it could take her out. But I think Grace Sims can actually clear this obstacle because she's been practicing her balance a lot. And as a free as in free runner as well, too. That's her practice doing free running. Ah, oh, she makes it. Wow. She sticks it in the box. Wow. She sticks it in the box as she's getting her breath, ready for the second racket point seater thought. This obstacle is unforgiving. But again, she's showing her balance. Great job getting onto the Bose ball. Jumping oh, yeah. onto, onto the Pico, Pico Tenerife, Tenerife pegboard. Oh yeah. Nice. Sadly, your time expired. The course time limit is four, four minutes. minutes. Grace did an amazing job getting all the way to the Pico Tenerife pegboard. Give it up for Grace. So I definitely went slower than I wanted on the first thing, but I was really nervous to fall on it. Um, I didn't, ran out of time to complete the pegs, but at least I didn't fall earlier, so I'm really glad. Well, she almost made it to the end, but time was not on Grace's side today. Let's see how her fellow American, Natalie Duran, fares on the course. Well, Natalie is an experienced American Ninja Warrior competitor. And she's the third female. Third female, that's right. Third female on the Barbados Ninja Throwdown adult course. Wow. And she has tons of energy, positivity all about her, Perry. I, I am really excited about Natalie because she has a lot of energy. Uh, she has a good spirit and she needs to make up her time now because she saw Grace going through the course. She knows what to do That's and right. she needs to book it. She needs to go faster because if she gets to the Pico Tenerife pegboard faster than Grace, she gets first place. That's right. That's right. And, I'm being, and as being an avid rock climber, uh, the Pico Tenerife climb is probably up her alley. It's one of her strengths right there. Exactly. Also, the new obstacle, the Joe's River Jumper, might be an obstacle that she can clear easily, but she first needs to get there, and That's she's right. getting ready for the racket point teeter top. She puts it on, she starts, steps on it. And she's making her way. Balance is key. And she's good. Making her way through, through the, the catawash. catawash. Stepping stones. So far, so good. Getting ready for the Wallaba Logs. Great job, showing great control. But she does need to make up for time, and I think she will make up for time right now on the Green Monkey Bars, because this is one of her expertise obstacles. Great job. She's already halfway through, and wow. she's going with some speed. 
I don't know if I can do it as fast as her. No, this that's is looking good. Oh yeah. She still and needs Ninja to continue. Ninja Natalie onto the garrison spider wall now. Two minutes and 20 seconds left. Just like Grace getting to this garrison spider wall. So right now they're looking the same. I hope she can make up time on, on the, the Joe's, Joe's River, River Jumper. Jumper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's hyping the crowd up, people. Hyping the crowd up. Getting them behind her. Catching and her breath. I did not expect this from Natalie. She, what she is does. an experienced veteran. Okay. But right now, showing a wow. lot of force and power, which could be oh, very, oh. very good. But don't let it get out of control. Great job. Getting ready for a jump. Nice. She's already halfway. Second jump. Oh, 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 oh. oh she's oh, swinging oh. too much. Great save. One more jump. Come on, Natalie. One more jump. Hop. Oh, nice. Getting ready for a dismount. No, she makes another jump. And, and easily landing on the platform. Easy. Oh, careful. Good job. And she's making her way to the Hackleton's Cliff Net Climb. Wow. Making one swing. She can grab the rope now. Grabbing oh, it with, with her, her foot. foot. That's great. Saving energy. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But time is running out. She needs to go oh, fast. Okay. Ninja Natalie with the flips over the bar. Making that dismount very quick. Onto the River Bay log roll. Now, again, this is an obstacle that you don't, very, that you don't see on uh, uh, very, many, uh, very many NNL events. So it's very new for, for a lot of the ninjas. Yeah, it's a great obstacle. It, it just, you know, it, it challenges every competitor for their balance. And so far, she's doing good. She is a little bit bent over. Uh, she needs to stand a little bit higher. A little bit Otherwise higher. Otherwise, she will fall forward. Oh, and she makes the dismount. Great the box. dismount. Great jump from about halfway. Wow, but she went too oh, fast into oh, the teeter tot. Oh, no. And she fell. Super excited to run this course. Only a little nervous with the balance ones. I always have to tell myself kind of focus and calm down. It was a little shaky in some of the balance ones, but really excited about the upper balance obstacles. Bummed I couldn't get to the pegboard, but there's always next year, right? Once again, the teeter totter claims another victim, and she was doing really well. But just as Natalie said, there is always next year, and we already have the date. The Barbados Ninja Throwdown will be held on May 11th, 2019. So, Make sure you follow us on Facebook to register and keep up to date with everything happening with the Barbados Ninja Throwdown. Looks like our international competitors are having a great time while they are in Barbados. Welcome back to the Barbados Ninja Throwdown 2018. Things are moving along nicely here today. And up next is LeVar Tull. Delano, tell us about our next competitor. Oh, now, up on next is we have LeVar, LeVar Tull. Wow. Now, I actually know LeVar personally. Really? Yeah, I know what, from... What uh, can you tell us about LeVar? About LeVar's a fantastic chef. His name, his nickname is Chef Tull. Wow. And he can cook some very good food. If you want some local, good Bajan food, Chef Tull's your, chef Tull's your guy. Well, LeVar is making his way through the Morgan Lewis wheels and very quickly. Very quickly, I must say. Very quickly so far. Looking very controlled. And he goes through the stepping stones. Very and nice. LeVar. And his son and daughter, his, his mother, his, his wife and son are watching. Well, they must be very proud because he's making his way through the green monkey bars like it is his playground. He's going through very, very quickly, fast. very quickly. Good approach because right now and we're at 50 seconds and wow, he's at. that is fast.
And he's down through the Joe's River jumper. That is a very strong wow. run. Wow. LeVar showing great promise on the course. Oh, yeah. Getting ready for the Hackleton's Cliff net climb. And he's there at a... Oh, wow. Okay, Making a huge lache to the net. Climbing over. And he's, he's, he's making his way through. He's doing this in some very good time wow. here, ladies and gentlemen. LeVar has two and a half minutes left. And he's on the River Bay log roll. If he this up, he can get the fastest time. But the River Bay log roll can be very tricky. tricky. He cleared it. And Great he comes job. to the second ragged point, Tito Talk, where he's claimed a lot of people so far. Will LeVar overcome this obstacle? Great job. And he does. And now he is cooking his way up to the Pico Tenerife pegboard. Oh, yeah. And he's moving through with some speed there, Perry. Wow, having the arms 90 degrees, that shows great control. He has enough energy left to clear this entire course. He just needs to make one more move and get a dismount going. And is he going to go for the dismount here now? Oh, he was thinking about it, but he's he was like, okay, sure. I'll take another one. That's right. Getting ready. And that's a clear. The that's white clear. flag goes up. And he's up onto the Charles Fort Cannonballs. Grabbing the second cannonball onto oh, the third, third, one arming it, almost slipped and, and fell, but he cleared it. on to Mount Hillaby. Here we he's go. He's cleared it. Finally. And will he come under three minutes? We're at two minutes and 45 seconds, people. Oh, his first, first try. Oh, he has two more tries left. He can still get the fastest time of the day. Will he clear it? Let's go. Oh. Yes, he grabs the top of oh, Mount Hillaby, climbs over it. He has to hit ready. the buzzer, he has to hit the buzzer. Hitting the buzzer. Here we yes. go. At three minutes and five seconds, the VAR tall. Wow. It's his second male, second adult to clear the course and actually setting the fastest time now. Wow. It was awesome, it was awesome. Um, my set was just to get to the end. Uh, don't worry about the time, have fun. Um, I, I, I didn't get as much practice as I wanted to, but... Um, at the end of it, it was just the mindset and he was to go for it. My game plan was just to finish the course best time possible. And Lavar, you did just that. You'll find out just how good that time was soon enough. And now let's get back to the course where another American ninja, Jeremy Guarino, is already halfway through his run. Good job so far. He needs to make one more jump and then he can do there a dismount. He's getting ready for his dismount. Oh! Making one more jump. All right. All right. And he's on to the Hackleton's cliff net climb at a minute 31. I like it. I he's think we're already looking. up and over. Wow, that was wow. a quick, that was very quick dismount. Saving time right there. But the River Bay log roll is an obstacle that can take anyone out if you go too fast. Showing great control into the box. And now the infamous Ragger the Point, point Teeter Todd, number two on the course. He takes his time to analyze it. One mistake, up. and you lose your balance. But oh, he jumping saves himself. straight to the Pico Tenerife pegboard. Wow. What a nice save. save. What a save by Jeremy Carino. And he's going through the Pico Tenerife climb. All right, he's onto the last two pegs, and you need to move them all the way across the pegboard. Oh, turning around. This is a new technique we've not seen before. I think it's working out pretty nicely. He's skipping a lot of holes on the pegboard. But he is swinging a lot. And now he needs to make a sideways jump. What? Is he going to look? Is All he right, gonna go for the switching dismount? his hand, making sure his grip is nice, getting ready for his dismount. But he's taking a lot of time here. Oh, yeah. Come on, Jeremy. Awesome. And he clears. And he clears it. Running straight into the trampoline. Waiting there, which is an interesting thing because he should be going faster. His arms are looking tired, actually. Barely making it. And he makes it onto Mount Hillaby. Three tries. Oh! Misses on his first try. Second attempt. Jeremy's going for it. Come on, he needs, he needs to take his time. That was his third attempt. He's leaning too much forward, thus getting his feet sliding under him. Last try, here we go. Oh, oh 
Oh, what a great run by Jeremy Guarino. He made it all the way to the warp wall, but just couldn't get to the top of Mount Hillary. Stay tuned. Barbados Ninja Throwdown will be back after this. We're back and we head straight to one of the competitors who has been with the Barbados Ninja Throwdown since it started, Corey Goodman. It's his third time competing on the Barbados Ninja Throwdown and a member of CrossFit 246 here in Barbados. So he went out on the Flying Fish ladder but has been practicing. So let's see if he can put his game onto this Barbados Ninja Throwdown course. Oh, already on to the second Morgan Lewis, Lewis wheel. wheel. Oh, yeah. And he's about to... His foot is on the first racket point, Peter Todd. So and he's on his way. And on to the Catawas Stepping Stones, and Corey's making sweet work of it. Well, this is the third time competing, so yeah. he should be good on oh, the yeah. first set of obstacles. And made his, made his way through the wallaba logs Very onto the nicely. green monkey bars. Green He's going with speed. Bars. I mean, these competitors are really hitting these monkey bars with some speed here, Perry. I did on. not see him go through. I blinked no. and he cleared <laughs> the obstacle and already onto the garrison spider wall. Oh, no. No, no. J the, J wow. the jumper. That's how fast he's going. A minute and five seconds have elapsed for him so far. And that's how he fares with this new obstacle. Let's see how he does. And Cedar. now he's hanging, making and his way. And he's moving with some wow, speed. Wow, this is exactly the technique I've been talking about. I Pulling think this yourself is the forward. best way and just blasting through, making his way onto the end platform, nice and safe. Wow, one arming the rope. And onto Hackleton's cliff net. Oh, he grabbed the upright. He grabbed the top upright. Sadly, he grabbed a bar that was not allowed. Yeah. Jay Flores, he's coming all the way from Puerto Rico, wow. neighboring Caribbean island. He's excited to be here. And Jay on the Morgan Lewis wheels, making his way to the ragged first ragged point. Teeter talk. All right, Mr. Flores. And he's pushed it down, and he's ready to go. Okay, he's on to the first racket, point, to the point. Oh, yes, and he does it. Jay does it, and coming through the catawash stepping stones with some speed here, guys. Look at him go, look at him go, okay. Wow, he's all not wasting the any way. Time. He's not wasting any time, people. Not wasting any time on the green monkey bars here. Jay is booking it all the way from Puerto Rico, and now onto the garrison spider wall. Very low on it, but... His shoes seem to, very, to be very good on the wall. Getting ready for the Joe's River Jumper. He's gonna and make he big moves, I'm sure of it. What do you think is the best technique on this obstacle? Is it having a swing and skipping one? Or do you think it is nice to just book it and boom, I, boom, boom? I think having a swing and, and skipping some does help because when you do get to the last one, you just have an automatic slide that takes you straight to the end. Gotcha, gotcha. He fixes his hat. <laughs> yeah, making sure his hat is all nice and tight. Grabbing the rope and getting ready for the Hackleton's Cliff Net Climb. Great job so far. Jumping down. down. Nice. The River Bay, Bay Log, Log roll. roll. Oh, yeah, this is one of two balanced obstacles in the latter part of the course. This obstacle can get into people's heads, but showing great control, already oh, yeah. halfway, getting ready for his end oh, jump. Oh, he does it! He sticks it. Here we go to Ragged Point, Teeter Todd, number two. Number two is claiming a lot of victims, Will J. And J, okay! Nice! Wow, he had what a, a one-arm save. That shows great Great strength. And great control too, huh? And control onto the last two pegs. And Jay's moving. He's moving the last two pegs here now, guys. All right. Um, Making his way through the Pico Tenerife pegboard. And let's not underestimate this pegboard. This is a pretty long pegboard, guys. This pegboard is not the easiest 
So far, so good. I think he's going to make one more move uh, and then getting ready for a swing. Here we go. This is move. his last move. Can he stick it? Yes, he can. Time for a swing. He has Here to go we now. go. Nice. He dismounts. Great job. Running straight, and he's going to, straight to, the, to, to Charles Ford. There we go. Charles Ford cannonballs. He's going. Jay is wasting no time. Making Great his job. way to Mount Hillaby. Wow. One more swing. He's on to Mount Hillaby. Here we go, Mount Hillaby. You get uh, three chances. Will he make it on his first try? Oh! Not even close. I hope he can regain himself. He might be a little bit gassed from the entire course. Here goes his second attempt. Oh! He got a little bit higher. I think he can make it on his third time. Third time is his charm. Usually... Oh, he's taking a different approach now. Eight more seconds. He and needs Jay. to clear it right now. Here we go. Oh! oh! Great job, Jay. Yeah, it's good. Uh, balance obstacles at the beginning. Very shaky, so you got to be careful. And then really turned up the speed on some of the agility and the upper body strength, which is what I like to do. Uh, very challenging course overall. And the wall got me. It's close. <laughs> Oh, Jay, so close, but no cigar. What a run by Jay Flores from Puerto Rico. The action continues on the Barbados Ninja Throwdown when we return. It has been an action-packed day, and before we go, let's take a look at how some of the other competitors did on the course today. At this point, you want to do at least one or two jumps at the very end to get to the platform, but seriously, Okay. Oh. I think we're going to have our second competitor he, dipping he, down in a beautiful he, pool. Beautiful pool. <laughs> of the Joe's River Jumper. Especially on a hot day like today. That's a kind of refreshing dip. Oh, look at those arms. Look at his arms. They're stretched. Showing okay. his teeth. That means he's Come on. getting gassed. He's oh! This was an our amazing second. smash. This won't end up well. I think it will end up wet. I see his right hand. Come on, Nixie. He can hold it. And he's making his way down. First slide. Oh, this doesn't look good. His arms are Whoa! already long. And there you go. Third. The Joel's River Jumper has claimed his third victim today, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Andrew. Now it's your time. One more peg move. Oh, no. Oh, no. His arms get long. This is it. He needs one more lache. Can he get over the blue line? The white, li the white flag goes up. He's getting ready for the trip. Charles Ford Cannonball. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see if he clears this? Are we gonna see something new? I here? have my doubts here, but it looks like he's getting ready for his dismount. And uh, is he gonna go for the dismount? Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Oh no! No! Just two more moves, and then he can make his dismount. He tries to get the peg out. He has a little bit of trouble. Oh, he's already on there, trying to get his dismount. Crazy, will he make it? Sadly, he did not not. Well, while some made a splash and others nearly made it, only one ninja was able to clear the course today, LeVar Tull. That makes it only two competitors who have cleared the course in the 18 and over category so far. Tune in next week when the final competitors in this category will pull out all the stops to out Ninja, Lee Knight and LeVar Tull in hopes of being the winner of the Barbados Ninja Throwdown 2018. For Perry Osterley and Delano Hines, I'm Martin Paris and this was the Barbados Ninja Throwdown. Next year's competition will be May 11th, 2019. Follow Barbados Ninja Throwdown on Facebook to find out when you can sign up to compete and stay on top of everything that is happening next year.